A little bit, yeah. I think uh, confidence, it's one thing to talk about and say you can you can be here, you can be here, but it's another thing to go out there and do it. So uh, I keep saying this, I know it's an exhibition, and I know the points don't count, but uh, those wins matter in here, and, and uh, it's a good start to the season. It's often said about great players, and Crosby, it's been the case, and people talk about at times it's difficult to play with those guys, but it seems like for whatever reason, it seems pretty easy for you to play with, with McDavid. Is, is there a reason why you think that is? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's a very good player to begin with, and so was Hopkins. So uh, uh, I like to think of myself as, as a little bit high hockey IQ, and, and I know what they want to do with the puck. I know they can both beat guys by themselves, so uh, get open, find open space, and, and, and when you got your chances, uh, you better be bearing them. Do you feel like there's an instinct? I mean, you've always been an offensive player. Um, you know, did you have to do things differently in recent years to try and to try and stay at the NHL level? Do you feel like there's a, a natural instinct that's kind of coming out in you again that, that that's been there all along? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, sometimes you're you're in different spots in the lineup, and and you have to find other ways to contribute to, to, to a winning team. And, and if you're not scoring goals, you better be doing something else, or they'll find someone else. Um, Luckily, I'm in the spot I am with two very good players, and I think I understand what my role is, and I think <laughs> I understand what the coaches and, and what my line mates expect of me, and, and right now it's working. Some people will defer too much and keep dishing back, dishing back, dishing yeah. back, but you seem to have found the value in letting it rip too. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think I, I know my role. I think I'm, I'm supposed to be a shooter. I'm supposed to be getting the puck back for those guys. and. Um, it's just a confidence thing. I think uh, you got to shoot the puck. I think uh, that's, that's that's how it goes. So just stay in front, shoot the puck when you have your chances, and, and uh, good things will happen. Ty, uh, at the start of training camp, uh, Todd McCollum mentioned that he wants to instill familiarity, keep guys together. How much of a factor has that played in your your success as Jesse? Yeah, it's nice. Obviously, it's nice to come to the rink every day with the same line mates and maybe look over clips of the last game and, or, or whatnot and, and understand that you're still playing together and you'll still get another game together. So it does feel good. Um, just lucky for me, I'm with the two guys I am right now, and the line is clicking. So uh, just got to keep it going and, and keep it going in the early season. You said you forget what the quote was. I think you said your dad could score 25. Yeah. How many could you score? I don't know if my dad can score 25. But I think McDavid would still put up very good points. Uh, my dad would have a good plus minus if, if that counts, but uh, he's so good. He, he, like I said, he, he draws so many players to him and, and just does things that, that nobody else can do. and, and uh, there's just no, no no need to crowd him because when he beats a guy, there's no need to stand right beside him. It's, it's get open and, and bear your chances. So take us inside that meeting that Todd has with all the right wingers at the start of the camp here. What, what got said in there? What happened? Uh, yeah, well, uh, first of all, it was a nice conference boost to be involved in that meeting. Uh, there's there's three or four of us, and he, and he showed us the depth chart and said there's openings here, and, and uh, it, it's uh, it's going to be a battle, and then the ball's in our court. Whoever wants it, go out and get it. So, um, first of all, it was nice to get that confidence from Todd to even have be in that meeting, first of all, and uh, then you kind of just got to take that to heart, and, and next practice, next game, prove him that, uh, how bad you want to be there. I feel like Connor... How would you describe him as a captain and a teammate? I get the sense even late in that game he was looking for more for you. Like you feel like he's pulling for you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, he's a very, very driven guy, I think. Uh, you come in here today, and it felt like we were in game 82 of the early season. That's how bad he wanted. That's how bad he wanted to win. So um, just like I said, it's exhibition, and, and he dominated. He's dominated for both games he's been in, and, and he's going to dominate for 82 games this season. So he's, he's a very good player, very driven, and, and uh, he showed it again tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah.